hi guys welcome to my channel so once again it's my country's annual independence gala and i had a ball let me take you along and oh my god such great music guys such great music i danced all evening long it was phenomenal <laughs> We even had a live performance by one of our famous Calypsonians. Oh. So this is option one for tonight's gala and it's this gorgeous dress from Misguided. Of course one of Misguided's um, best sellers and I got it a couple months ago and I bought it especially for occasions like this because I think this is a dress that could definitely be dressed up or down and it's something I would definitely explore with you guys in the next video but I am trying to decide on two colors I have the very gorgeous mustard color and it's basically the same thing I just love this color I think this is such a great pop of color in the fall and winter I love colors that make me feel bright what I love about this style is the deep V detail which tonight I may of course be modest and tuck it here a bit and it has this huge split detail guys that just gives you that Angelina Jolie um, look that you want but I also love the ruching detail it really gives it a nice gorgeous sophisticated look that I love on my dresses and it's it's long sleeve so this would pair nicely with a strappy sandal but it's gonna be cold so i don't know i'm thinking maybe a little booty or i could just try both looks and see how it works but yeah these are my two options for the night and they might need a little steaming just to get some of the creases out but i think i may opt for the yellow one but it depends on how i feel we'll see which one i choose so for the booty, I know that it doesn't sound right to pair booties with a gown or a dress, but I'm thinking I don't always like to do things the traditional or conventional way. So I would likely pair this booty and this is one of my fall favorites. Oh my God, I love it. I think it would be a great pairing because it's still a bit summery. It has this nice peep toe. It has this gorgeous fringe tassel detail, which of course I still struggle with, but it's, it does add a nice touch to this one. So if it's not this booty, I'm thinking possibly my nude shoe from guest Marciano and um, this is a gorgeous shoe it reminds me of the sex and the city shoe and it's quite comfortable believe it or not it's gonna be a long night so of course this would pair so nicely with this gown but do I really want to go this serious tonight? I am not sure. And yeah. So, but this is perfect. It's, this is satin, so it flows quite nicely. The fabrication is a perfect match. So this would be great. 
ends with the gold heel as an added touch of detail. Oh, that would look fabulous with that nice split. But I'm not sure yet. This might be for next year's gala. <laughs> so if I don't wear it, this is a preview for next year's gala. Alternatively, I could also pair it if I want to go less. So if I do want to go less matchy, this would definitely go together nicely because it has this nice gold detail right there and a nice ankle strap yeah this would likely go nicely as well with this one if i choose the yellow gown or dress i could definitely get away with pairing it with this booty because i think it would really go nicely and add a nice contrast to the whole look along with my accessories and this booty is also very comfortable as well so comfort is definitely key for tonight's event because there's dancing afterwards and i need to dance <laughs> so yeah or alternatively i can also wear my other strappy sandal I can take one for the team in the cold, <laughs> but this would also be another gorgeous pairing. The only issue I have is this is gold and most of my accessories are silver, so I think I'm likely to stick with the booty. But it's definitely a good option. I don't really care about rules. If I don't want to wear it, I'm going to wear it anyway. So, <laughs> so it's either this one, which is absolutely gorgeous, or my booty. This one, this one, or this one. So we'll see. So this would be my coat for the evening. This was custom made and I love it. Gorgeous leather detail right here. I chose these chunky buttons myself. Oh my God, they make such a statement. And I love the almost invisible pockets, but it definitely keeps you warm. And I love the big floppy lapels. Oh. I specifically um, requested that they be made this huge because it gives it a nice 70s vibe. So I love that. Right now it's a little floppy so I have to go and definitely get it steamed so that it lies nice and flat for my big night. And it's floor length. This is such a gorgeous coat. I absolutely love it. And I know that I paid a million bucks for it, but I don't think it would have cost me less if it was actually store-bought. So it was custom made by a very great designer of mine. And I haven't regretted this investment. Right now, it's a bit, um, I just took it out of the garment bag, so it's a bit wrinkly. That would be remedied in a few seconds, because I have to get ready. That's the only how I can show you the full length of this coat. Because it's absolutely long, it drags all the way to the floor, and that's what gives it such a gorgeous, elegant look. I, I just love it. And of course, my choice of accessories um, depends on which dress I opt for tonight. If I do go for the either dresses, I think I'll definitely keep it toned down with this clutch. It's gorgeous. The only thing is, yes, it has a gold detail and I wasn't thinking gold for tonight. Or I could simply keep it simple with this patent leather clutch which is clean 
gorgeous, nice detail, or add some fun to the look with this DKNY bag. And my all time favorite, depending on which dress, either one could work. I could definitely choose my favorite clutch handbag for the night. Ah, to make it, to casualize it, I could also opt for my Rebecca Minkoff's um, bag. But I do think it's it's a bit too huge for tonight's um, look. But it has the perfect silver details. I think maybe I'll have to invest in something smaller with the chevron style because I do love the chevron style. I think it's really elegant and could definitely pair nicely with any um, events such as galas etc. <laughs> but yeah guys, yes, this is my belt. This is the belt <laughs> that I would be pairing these dresses with. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yes. This is the belt that would be the creme de la creme for tonight's outfit. It's definitely a uh, not even a statement piece, but <laughs> an exclamation point. This is not a statement. It is an exclamation point. You definitely have to rock this belt with confidence. And I would keep my accessories, my other accessories, pretty low key by pairing it with these um, studded earrings. Yeah. So let's do this tonight. The first thing is I'm going to really steam press my coat because and when I press when I'm in a hurry seriously guys I'm telling you the truth I don't take out my um my ironing board because that's too much of a hassle when I'm in a hurry I throw it on the bed and I steam it and this is what I'm gonna do tonight making my coat pretty Getting those steam out, making it all gorgeous for tonight. Yeah. We'll see what I decide on. You guys could make a guess. <laughs> but I don't think that I could go wrong either way. But let's go get ready. Mm -hmm. 